Hi, Antoine. Thanks for yeah. joining us. Um, nice. Ross, mm -hmm. kick it off. Um, sorry, I didn't take my hand down. Okay. Um, I'll just start off. Uh, and tell me, what, what have you really done to improve and kind of get to the point where you're competing for, for reps and minutes? And where have you really improved the last uh, year or so to get to that point? Uh, I say I've been working on my mental a lot. And my confidence has actually been through the roof. And it's been a slow process ever since my sophomore year and building off of last year. But I definitely say my mental. And, and what do you mean by that? What, what sort of mental stuff have you really worked on? Has it been, you know, learning the plays or the routes? Yeah, being confident in technique and just learning the steps and all of, all of the plays as well. Great, thanks. Mm -hmm. All right, Mike, you go ahead, please. Hey, Antoine, first, I'm curious, you guys obviously lost a, a lot of talent at those receivers positions. Um, as you're, For your group, do you look at it as opportunity, pressure, scrutiny? How do you view kind of the fact that people are saying, well, let's see what they have at that position? Um, I look at it as opportunity for not, not just me, but all the other guys as well, because, I mean, it's a system. Everything keeps rolling. And just because two people left or three, however many people left, we still got guys that can actually play as well, too. You, uh, you had a pretty big catch, if I recall correctly, the last time in Blacksburg at, at Lane Stadium. Um, what was your experience playing there? What, what kind of a venue is that? Um, they got a, a great atmosphere. It's real electric there. And... I mean, it was a great feeling catching that ball, but I'm looking forward to the next game with them. It got a lot of attention here in Virginia, the, the video of you guys playing Enter Sandman at the, at the end of uh, one of the fall camp practices. Uh, how much have you heard that song this preseason? And, and what does hearing it do for you guys? Uh, I think it gets, I get, it gets us fired up for sure. And it's definitely got us ready. And we look forward to coming out and hearing that as well. Awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Mike. Andrew, you're next. Hey, Antoine, we've talked to you a couple of times about the process uh, since the injury, but now that you're about midway through fall camp here in 2021, is your speed at the point now where it was prior to the injury? Absolutely. And <laughs> in the fact that you had to deal with so many things over the last couple of years, how are you better as a wide receiver just having gone through that and having to maybe – be more cerebral as you were dealing with uh, overcoming the injury? Uh, like I said, it was that whole process. It was mainly a mental thing and being confident in my steps. And yeah. And now in your group at wide receiver, we've heard the name Justin Olsen a lot here the last couple of weeks by some guys. Uh, what, have, what have you seen from him and who else in that group have you seen kind of rise up and you know, have an opportunity to be pretty productive this year? Uh, Justin Olsen, he a baller. People really sleep on him. And actually, I watch him a lot myself because he gives 100% effort all the time. He tries to do everything right, and he's a great player overall. And other guys, I say Kobe Pace out. He actually, he stepped in freshman. He being confident as well in everything he's doing. Cool. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. all right, Gregory. Hey, Antoine. Coach Galloway on Saturday said that you can just tell that you're in a completely different mindset. And obviously, as you answer, that's been a large part of what you've been trying to overcome. Can you explain the difference as what it, what it was when you were struggling with that, with how it feels now and what you kind of think of when you go through um, drills and practice and things like that? Um, I'd say I kind of handicapped myself in the past when it came to certain steps and whether I had three steps on a route, four steps on a route. And I babysat it just to protect myself. So I kind of handicapped myself mentally. And I've grown out of that phase. And, yeah. When would you say you kind of realized that you were out of that and the injury wasn't in the back of your mind anymore and you were just playing football? Uh, once I stopped thinking about it and just played the game that I love. Is there a certain moment? Like, was it over the off? Was it over this past spring? Or was it last season at some time? Yeah, I think I say it was this past spring, most definitely. Awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, CL, you're up. Kind of piggybacking on that. Was it was it a certain play? Was it a certain game that that you kind of produced that helped boost your confidence back? I wouldn't even say it was it had it had a lot to do with on the field, but it had a lot to do with off the field as well. Cause I myself I built a relationship with God and he's actually my source now. So I say it has, to, it has a lot to do with that. 
And uh, I was curious, who, who's kind of the the veteran receiver that guys will go to for just, you know, small questions, how to run this route, how to get off the line, like, like that kind of thing. Cause it seems like everybody, uh, you know, Bo maybe, but everybody is kind of in, in a similar place experience wise amongst the receivers. Mm-hmm. Um, I say as a unit, we all have certain things that we can do very well. And whether it's getting off the line or coming out of a break or stacking or uh, DB at the top of the route, we all got different things that we can do very well, and we can all talk to each other about what we need to do because we sit we sit back and we watch each other, whether it's in one-on-ones or just seven-on-seven. Seven. And whether, like, if I'm not doing something well, I got I got Josh Downs I can go to. I got Justin Olsen I can go to. I got many guys that I can go to, and they'll tell me what I'm doing wrong. Thank you. Gregory, did you have a follow-up? Yes, ma'am. Um, Antoine, I wanted to ask you, what were some of your goals and expectations you have for yourself this season? Uh, I mean, of course, I want to do my part and shine on all that, but I'm focused on being more impactful and less impressive. And then Max said yesterday um, that the deep ball wasn't quite there, that he wants. What are you guys working on there and what needs to improve in that regard across the wide receiver room? Uh, just building chemistry with the quarterbacks, that's all. All right. Y'all good for Antoine? Okay. Thanks so much. Appreciate the time.